Hello and welcome back to another video. So we're going to carry on with the, the actual database side of things and today we are going to add the um, change password uh, section. So I've got the site open here at the moment. Um, so I'm going to log in with my account. And if I just click log in, as you see that now logs me in. Um, and I've got the link for the change password. So if I click on change password, it goes to the page as we can see up here. But like I said, we haven't added in the control for that yet. So that's what we're going to do now. So I'm just going to minimize this and I'll just stop debugging. So we need to open up the change password page, which is over here. And then it gives us the page. If we go to the design, it looks exactly the same as every other page. And we've got our content placeholder. So if we go to the source, create some space, and we want to drag out the change password control. Uh, so we've added that in. If we go to the design, we can see what that's done. So you can see we've got this form here, and it's going to be the same principle as what we've done previously. We're going to click on the arrow, and we're going to go to auto format, and we're going to choose classic, and we're going to click on OK. So as you can see from here, we've got a view sort of system here, like the anonymous template and logged in templates. So at the moment, the view is on change password. So this is what the user will see. Um, so they'll be asked for their current password, the new password to confirm the new password, and they click on change password button. But then once that's successful, it switches to the success one here, and it says your password has been changed. Um, so that's that bit sorted. So I'll just change that back to that. So we're going to want to go into the source of this and we're going to add again a h2 at the top and we're going to put change password and then we'll just put a paragraph underneath and put please use the form below to change your password. I think I spelled all that right. Yep. So I'm going to save that and I'm just going to open up the web page and I'm going to hit refresh and as you can see now we've got the change password h2 the paragraph and we've now got the actual form that the user can uh, change their password with so this area around it all on the other pages so if I just basically if I log out for a second so if I just go to the home page so so far we've created the account page so I've just added in the control and a bit of text and a h2 if you really wanted to you can add in more you could add in pictures if you like but I'm just showing you the database side of it. Uh, so it'll be the same on all the other pages. I'm just going to add in this sort of H2, the paragraph, and then the control to give you the functionality. Um, so I'm just going to log back in again. So, so if I go to change password, so I'm going to put in my current password like that. And then I'm going to change it. like that and now if I click change password you can now see your password has been changed so if I click continue and if I click log out so that's me now logged out so if I now try and log in with my old password and click login this should now give me an error as it does your login attempt was not successful please try again so now if I actually use my new password and click login as you can see, that's now logged me in and brought me back to say, welcome back, Matt. And I've got the links to log out and change password. So I'm just going to change my password back to the original one. Otherwise, I will forget and not be able to be not be able to log in. And that doesn't match. OK, so change password. Your password has been changed. Click log out. And if I log back in one more time. So you can see how easy it is to do all these sorts of things and you can now see and that's me now logged back in again. So now that we've done that, what if we, if we just minimize this. So if we go over here to our solution explorer, I just want to show you what it's actually added for that new user into the database. So if you drop down the app data and then drop down this database file here as well. And if you, if you double click on it, sorry, that then takes you to the database explorer tab here. So we want to go to tables. So if I just move this over, you can see we've got all the different tables here. 
So the one that we're interested in is this ASP net underscore users. We're going to right click on that and go to show table data. So these are all the users that I have in my database. I've got my Matt account. I've got a Bob account. I've also got a Steve account. Uh, I created that last time, but I had to edit that out, but never mind. Um, so this just shows you where it's adding in the new user accounts. And obviously it changes the password uh, inside of here. So I'm just going to close this down. So if I just go back to the design of the password, change password page, that's all ready to go. And now users can change their passwords without any issues. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the video here for now. In the next video, we will create the forgotten password section. And if you can hear that noise in the background, that's the rain coming down quite heavily at the moment. So as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below. Don't forget to click the annotation in the top right. Feel free to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.